Hello everyone, my name is Erica and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I should I don't know if I should look in the mirror or like at the camera like this. I think I normally look in the mirror, whatever. Um, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'll be showing you guys my current curly hair routine slash wash day routine. You could see right now I got some curls going on. I'm gonna have my hair in like this weird high poof, but the hair is dry, the hair is dirty. So, you know, it's time to refresh the curls, bring it back to life. Um, and I'm just gonna show you guys because I think it'd be cool to document my curly hair journey. I've done a couple of curly hair videos in the past. I'll link them down below, but it's more so a journey for me because I feel like I still have so much to learn about my hair and about curly hair in general. So yeah. Also, this is what works for me. Everybody's hair is different. I will say I have low porosity hair and I believe I have type 4B, a little bit of 4C. I'm not gonna claim myself in the 4C community because I really don't know. It's giving 4B, but if you know more than me, let me know in the comments down below. I really have no idea. But yeah, this is what has been working for me. I've been having some trouble finding like shampoo that really moisturizes my hair because like I said I have low porosity hair and my hair dries like no other or like it doesn't absorb water or product that well so I'm just trying to find something that's really really hydrating obviously I'll show you my products um, a little bit later on in this video um, without further ado I think we're just gonna get started majority of this video is gonna be voiceover as well because it wouldn't make sense for me to talk over like the water and all the you know so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see more hair videos let me know in the comments down below and let's get started all right fam let's get into it here I am removing the crusty hair tie from my head oh my goodness if you know, you know, this feeling right here is unmatched. Here, I'm just, you know, adding some water to the head. Voiceovers are so weird. I'm so sorry. So if I'm awkward, that's why. These are the products that I use. It's the, I actually use the whole line of this, but it's the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration. This is the shampoo. It has fig extract and bow you know what i'm just gonna put it on the screen this oil lol um it's for hydrating and replenishing extra dry and damaged hair which i definitely need and yeah i just focus the shampoo mainly in the roots of my head because that's where like the most dirt is and then i'm just scrubbing 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 shampoo is meant for like cleansing and can strip a lot of moisture that's why i only focus it in the root and not so much on the ends of my hair because my ends definitely need like the extra love this is a conditioner from the same line and here i'm going to focus the product mainly on the ends of my hair and just throughout the strands of my hair just because i went in with that cleansing shampoo that can strip a lot of i guess you can say ingredients for my hair so we're just replenishing it with the conditioner we are going in with the hair mask so with this there's a different type of process that I go through first I'm gonna part my hair into four parts obviously the parts aren't the cleanest because that's not the purpose of it but basically I part my hair in half clip that half away so it's out of my way lol and not in my face then I take the other half and split that in half like I said it's not even it's not the perfect part but that doesn't matter and I will clip one of those pieces away and I'm basically just working in fours or in sections of four just because I feel like I'm able to get the product in a lot better and I want the mask to really saturate my hair and give it all the love that it needs um, the consistency of this deep conditioner is pretty nice I like the way it smells it feels great on my hair my hair always feels really really moisturized after I use it and of course here I'm focusing on the ends because you know the ends need some love they're the oldest part of your hair so please don't neglect them and then after that I'm just twisting it and leaving it and I'm gonna do that with the rest of the sections in my hair
after all of that is done I place a cap on my head just to you know keep all the moisture enclosed in one area and I sit with this for about 30 minutes and before I continue I do want to mention I don't use a heated cap or sit under the dryer which I probably should but for some reason I don't but I'll probably implement that um, in my routine at some point but it's been 30 minutes I am taking the product out the deep mask I you know rinse out my hair just a little bit and then I start taking each twist out then I go in with my easy detangler brush or comb whatever you want to call it and I detangle my hair nice and gently because we don't feel like ripping out hair and I do that first and then I go in with my Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk which I absolutely adore and smells so good and I just take a little bit and just run my hands through that section I like applying my leave-in conditioner in the shower just because it holds the moisture a little bit better and since I have low porosity hair I definitely need the extra moisture as best as I can get it and then once I apply that I just twist my hair back and then so it's out of my way and then I just do the same thing with the rest of the parts <laughs> Once that is done, I turn the shower off and it's time to put my hair up and dry it. I use a t-shirt to dry my hair and then I'm going to try my best to explain how I do this little tie situation. So basically, I take like the bottom part of the t-shirt and I put that over my head and then I take the rest of the t-shirt and wrap it as you can see here and then I will just take the rest of it and tuck it underneath. Now that I'm out of the shower, it is time to style my hair. In this video, I will be doing mini twists. That is mainly my go-to. So here I am taking each of my four sections and I'm going to part that into smaller sections to apply more product to my hair. So I'm starting off with the lower right section. I untwist it, take half of it, clip it away, and then split that section in two and clip one piece away. Then I'm going in with the As I Am Twist Defining Cream and my Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel. And I'll just be applying those two products to that small section. I mainly use like a raking method, sometimes a prayer hand method, it depends. And I'm kind of like finger detangling just a little bit even though my hair is already detangled. And then once I do that, I will retwist it again and then work with the other half of that part and I'll just do that throughout my hair mainly on the bottom of my hair I'll have like four twists and then the top of my head I'll have roughly around six to eight twists depending on how much hair I want to use I try to keep it pretty small just because the smaller it is the more defined the curl pattern will come out afterwards and the one tip I want to give when doing your hair and having curly hair is you really just need to take your time. There's no such thing as rushing because you most likely will not get the products that you want. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, but I promise you, you'll get the results that you want. Also, everybody's hair is different. So when you're looking up different hair techniques and styles like that, don't get too discouraged if your hair doesn't come out the same way. It could just be that the person that you're watching doesn't have the same hair texture as you. Once I am done twisting my hair, I'll go in with the Donna's Recipe Strength Hair Oil by Tabitha Brown. My mom is obsessed with Tabitha Brown and this hair oil actually has so many ingredients that are great for hair growth and hair strength. I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below and I just put that all throughout my hair. <music> kind of massage the oil into my hair so it's fully saturated and then at this point I put my bonnet in and I basically go to bed because I want my twist out to be completely dry pro tip make sure your twist out is completely dry before you take it out folks I promise that will give you the best results so this is the next day and I'm going in with the Camille Rose Coco Nibs and Honey Ultimate Strength Serum Oil and this is the oil that I'm going to use to kind of take out my twist it's super important that you have oil in your hands just because it reduces frizz and you're also strengthening your hair while you're taking it apart. And I go one twist at a time. As you can see, I'm untwisting this one twist in the bottom. And then the key to stretching your hair or the method that has been working for me is I kind of pull down on the twist or that piece of hair and I see where my hair will naturally separate. And that's where I will pull apart the hair. And I do it gently just because 
I don't want my hair to frizz and I don't pull it apart too much because my hair will frizz if I do that so as you can see I'm seeing where it naturally splits itself and that's where I'm stretching my hair or pulling it apart once again you want to take your time make sure the hair isn't frizzy reapply oil every two or three twists just make sure your hair is still moisturized if you have low porosity hair and then I just do this throughout my whole hair for like a good hour because it takes so long Once my hair is finally done, I just like mess around with it and I will literally just fluff it out as much as I want it to be. Another pro tip for stretching is using a pick. Now you want to go from the root and just pull out. Never go through your hair or through your curls because then you're just asking for frizz central and we don't want that after we just worked hard on this definition. And I will just continue to mess with it until I get the shape that I want. I probably desperately need a curly cut, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And of course, to complete the look, I had to put a little bit of makeup on, a little bit of jewelry. Just, you know, to complete the whole hair transformation. I wanted to feel really good about myself after this. Look, we're putting on the lip gloss. Like, come on now. Fenty lip gloss to be exact. As you can see it worked I was feeling myself folks oh my goodness I've come a long way with my curly hair and I'm so proud of myself but I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye